Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to have a blower shootout from the blowers you can buy at Home Depot. I have three units here. The Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus system, the Ryobi 40 volt system, and then the Echo 58 volt system. Now I'm not going to jump into a lot of specs here. I'll put some links to uh, the description in the description to these models. So if you want to learn about uh, some some details about them, uh, go ahead and click those links. I'm going to go over the features and things that are included with each system, and then my likes, dislikes, my preferences, and then who would buy each unit. So to start out with, each unit comes with their uh, unit, the blower unit themselves, a battery, and then a battery charger. So for the Ryobi 18 volt system, you're going to get an 18 volt, 4 amp hour battery. The Ryobi 40 volt system, you're going to get a 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery. And then the Echo 58 volt, you're going to get a 58 volt uh, and a 4 amp hour battery. And then battery chargers for each of the respective systems. So the big difference between these units is the battery. The battery in the 18 volt 1 plus system is much smaller than the 58 volt uh, 4 amp hour battery in the Echo 58 volt system. The battery size is going to lend you power and run time. So keep that in mind with, uh, with what system you want to buy. Um, the big thing that I take away from these units is the trigger mechanism. The trigger mechanism on the Ryobi systems are very, very comfortable. The trigger mechanism on the Echo 58 volt system wasn't too bad, but it wasn't up to speed with the Echo systems. The Echo system did include a automatic setting to where you can hit this lever and it's going to hold down that trigger for you. That's a really nice feature, especially when this trigger isn't the most comfortable to hold on to for extended periods of time. With that being said, these two units don't have that lever and so that's kind of a big drawback there. All three units are pretty well balanced. Um, I definitely feel the heaviness of that 50 volt, 58 volt pack in the Echo. Uh, the two Ryobis are very well balanced and are definitely a little bit lighter. Obviously the 40 volt is going to be a little bit heavier than the 18 volt uh, one plus system. The Echo 58 volt has the shortest uh, blower housing of them all and then going up to the 18 volt Ryobi 1 Plus has the longest nozzle and I think that is to increase your directional abilities on the items you're blowing or the debris you're blowing on your sidewalks, driveways, your parking lot, uh, what have you. Um, with that being said, I prefer a little bit longer nozzle or longer unit um, to have a little bit more control on the, the debris I'm blowing around. The Ryobi 18 volt 1 Plus has a little bit of air intake on the side as well as the Echo 58 volt. The Ryobi uh, 40 volt is only from the back and that's uh, kind of a hindrance as you're uh, walking around. If it catches your pant leg, if you're wearing some gym shorts or jeans or anything a little bit baggy, that suction is going to grab to that grate. It's not going to do any damage to your clothes or anything like that, but it is going to immediately kill the airflow to the blower unit. Um, and then once you realize that, you have to pull it away. So it's kind of a nuisance. And if they could develop a unit that had strictly side air discharge, and even better, if you could control it the left or right hand side, that way if you're left or right handed, you can make a switch and okay I'm left-handed I'm gonna blow around with my left hand the air intake should be on the left hand side of the unit so it doesn't hit my left leg I think that'd be a really cool and neat feature the Ryobi 18 volt and the Echo 58 volt have scrapers on the end the Ryobi 40 volt does not so if you have some stubborn stuff on your sidewalk or driveway or whatever uh, you're able to use that nozzle scrape it off and it's designed for that. The Ryobi 40 volt doesn't have that, so you will wear down the plastic on the front of the nozzle. All these units did very well against blowing your traditional grass clippings off your sidewalk or driveway. As you get up in power, you get up in the bigger debris you're able to move. These two, these two units had no issues moving the edging debris that I had when we uh, did a edger review here in the past. Uh, the Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus system had some issues. It took a little bit longer to move. I had to get the nozzle a little bit closer. So obviously the more power you have, the bigger degree you're going to be able to move. All the batteries on these have fuel gauges so they can tell you how much charge is left in that battery. 
It's especially important to someone that uses it on a very large property or a large property that tends to use up their entire battery uh, before they complete their job or they may need that full battery. They simply can look at the battery, press the button, and see if they have enough to complete the job. It also is important if someone like the Echo 58 volt uh, in a contractor or commercial setting where they can look at that battery, press the button, um, and see how much battery is there when they're pulling it off the truck or trailer uh, when they head out to the job site. So what unit do I like the most? I like the Ryobi 40 volt system and that is because I have a smaller to larger uh, driveway and sidewalks and pavement in front of my house but most importantly I have the Ryobi's 40 volt uh, string trimmer so I'm able to use this battery within that string trimmer as well as their other 40 volt power equipment. Ultimately, who's gonna buy what unit? Well, I think there's a few factors in there. Number one, battery platform. Number two, how often are you gonna use it? And number three, what size uh, coverage are you going to need? So to start out with the battery pack platform, if you're someone that already has the 18 volt one plus system, then I would tend to lean you that way. If you already have the Echo 58 volt system, then your battery pack is going to be compatible with other power equipment that Echo offers. With the same with the Ryobi 40 volt system. It doesn't make sense to buy multiple different uh, battery platforms if you have the ability to buy the same one in your same battery platform. Variable 2 and 3 are somewhat tied together. So how long are you going to use the unit? and how big is your property. Obviously, if you have a bigger property, you're gonna use it more often or in a longer period of time. I would tend to put you in these two directions, the Ryobi 40 volt or the Echo 58 volt. If you're someone with a smaller to medium yard, um, uh, potentially even a large yard, I would have no issues giving you a recommendation going to the Ryobi uh, 18 volt one plus system. If you have a large yard to extra large yard, the Ryobi 40 volt system is an excellent choice. If you're someone that is uh, in this commercially, doing it every single day on properties big to small, um, I would absolutely recommend the Echo 58 volt system. All these units did very well against blowing your traditional grass clippings off your sidewalk or driveway. As you get up in power, you get up in the bigger debris you're able to move. These two, these two units had no issues moving the edging debris that I had when we uh, did a edger review here in the past. Uh, the Ryobi 18 volt one plus system had some issues. It took a little bit longer to move. I had to get the nozzle a little bit closer. So obviously the more power you have, the bigger debris you're going to be able to move. I think it comes down to one, your battery platform, and two, how big is your property. I think in that order, you should be able to easily decide what unit is right for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, brief uh, blower shootout. This is meant to be provided an overview and is not meant to replace you going into Home Depot, getting these units in your hand, and deciding which unit is right for you. If you guys have any questions or comments or I missed something, please leave them below and I'll be down there to provide some feedback. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. I encourage you to follow us on social media as we provide other tool review updates and project updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.